Oh my God, this is so exciting. Australian screen royalty, Rose Byrne. Seth Rogen, you're here as well. Guys, welcome to the project. How are you going? Very good. Great, We're going thank good. You. Um, you don't often see shows about straight platonic friendship. It's quite rare. Is that what kind of drew you guys to this project? Yeah, I found it very relatable. It really spoke to a lot of people I know and people that I've seen in life. And uh, yeah, and I've had a lot of very meaningful platonic friendships with women throughout my life. And, and it's one of those things, yeah, where we kind of stop and think about it. You're like, oh, they really haven't made a lot of things where where men and women are just friends. And, and that that That's friendship it. is like <laughs> the core of it, you know? Yeah. Your whole thing is so weird and destructive. Can you believe she said we were destructive? No, we're exactly the opposite. We are constructive. We're constructive. Your on-screen chemistry is so amazing. You're very mean to each other as well at points. It's a lot of ribbing. Is that reflective of your real life relationship? <laughs> no. <laughs> very, we're very nice to each other. We are far um, more laid back, yeah. We just kind of gossip about other people. Scoop. Think, yeah, scoop. <laughs> we like, I like to hear the scoop. Yeah. <laughs> we have the commonwealths in common. Yeah. You know, I think that... We're both commonwealths. Ladies and Australians have always had more similarities yeah. than differences and so uh there it but yeah far less dramatic than on screen very not <laughs> dramatic eh? yeah you guys say you gossip is that what hollywood friendships are really like just gossip uh i think it's different with different people just like it's no different than any other working people like yeah people work with people some people you're friendly with at work some people you hate at work and some people you are friends with outside of the office it's no different from that you know i think he would find it to be very much like their real life still a lot of you know like any workplace yeah 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 but people aren't getting papped you know when they're going to get a coffee with their workmates in their lunch break <laughs> Very true. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> they haven't done that to me in years, so I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Your characters both talk about going through a midlife crisis. Is that something that you two can relate to? I think that crises can happen at any time. Yeah. Midlife, yeah. dark life. Midlife. I think most people are in constant crisis. Yeah, why restrict yeah. it to midlife? Exactly. I, I know a lot of people myself. I've probably been in a crisis since I was 22 years old. Yeah. <laughs> so you're from the country, eh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, what's it like out there? Oh, I don't know. Less buildings, <laughs> more cows. Rose, I wanted to talk to you specifically about one of my favourite movies of all time, Two Hands, which you did with uh, Heath Ledger. You guys are both babies. It's such a beautiful movie. I love it, and it kind of is a snapshot of a time in Sydney that doesn't really exist anymore. Are you ever looking at your old work as, like, a time capsule of, of, of different places and different points in your life? Of course I do. I mean, I haven't watched Two Hands for many years, but I do absolutely, it is a time capsule of a, a, a particularly that movie was so seminal and I was 18 and with Heath and you know, it was a really incredible time of my life and a great film that we made. I treasure those ones to my heart. I'm sure you do too with some of your early stuff. It captures something that a lot of people wouldn't get to capture. No, you don't. Like what you, where you are when you're really young, you know? You look really young. You look like you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 12, guys. I was just, you know, battling a kid in Korea online and I've ended up in this Zoom link. I don't know how it happened. Like this summer, my parents decided to send me to summer camp. But it's not just normal summer camp, it's Jewish camp. <laughs> it's a camp for Jews. <laughs> Speaking of young, Seth, there's an amazing video of you as a young teenager on YouTube doing stand-up. I'm sure you've seen it. How did you build up the courage to do it so young? I'm a stand-up. It took me years. Did you just always have this drive and passion and knowing that you were going to do comedy? Yeah, I knew I wanted to do it since I was very young. And I honestly think, like, my age was part of the reason that I wasn't as afraid to do it as maybe I probably would be now, you know? Um, I think I was so young, I had, like, I was very confident. I really enjoyed it. I would get nervous, and it was, you know, I wanted to do well, but it was something that ultimately was... I never wanted a real <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can relate to that. I can definitely relate to that. Rose Byrne, Seth Rogen, the show is fantastic. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Thank you. Thank you. So lovely. Um, Platonic is streaming on Apple TV Plus from tomorrow.